<laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That was a complete butchering of the Roxane song. Um, anyways, so let me get um, rolling. Get ro- let, let's get rolling. Um, so this is an MDF board, and uh, you can see me here uh, painting it with some acrylic white paint. Prior to that, um, I have applied some aluminum foil, which I've crushed up and um, with the help of some PVA glue. So the actual video begins now. Hello guys, this is Arshi. And you're probably wondering what I'm up to with all these diamonds, with all these diamonds, these shapes, and these forms, and ha ha. Okay, well, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I saw a video by Sue, uh, by Sue Finlay and she's an artist and um, she had made a geode which was beautiful I've seen many many pieces but this one really 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 caught my attention and I said I had to do it so let's get into the video and um, let's talk about safety first you will need um, a respirator I do suggest this pink one and I will uh, put a link below. I've done a lot of research on which respirators are most suited for an epoxy resin pouring. And this was what I came up with. Um, the epoxy I'm using is probably not the best or not the right epoxy. But this is all, all I could find, guys. Uh, the the um bar and table finish is what I'm doing. Because I'm not using a canvas. I'm actually using... Um, I'm actually using uh, an MDF board. So uh, I did prime it first with uh, wood primer and then I uh, pour, uh, put uh, colored this with acrylic black, acrylic just paint. And I used a foam roller to just uh, paint it. And then uh, you just need to make like a rough uh, shape of uh, with aluminum foil. And uh, what this is gonna do is um, give you that shape of the geode. Um, inside which will actually um, make it look like a big piece of um, gem right basically so um, the other thing I have is um, India ink this color is kind of turquoise um, I will be using it all over but then I will be using some blue in the center as well as you see in the picture this is the turquoise and then this is the blue this is the India ink and the classic blue color you can see it says blue here okay so uh you need your respirator you need uh you need to put on some gloves and you will need a heat gun i'm using whatever i found in my garage this heat gun works fine um this these diamonds where did i get them i bought these on um i bought these at, at michael's actually they were they were around six nine dollars i don't know i don't remember but they were, um, you can see they're like different shapes. This one here is quite small. And when I was ordering them, they looked pretty big. This is from um, Amazon. Amazon.ca. If you guys are in the States, you're so lucky because Amazon.com is so much cheaper. Amazon.ca is just a joke. This one here is, um, these are forms. These are called free forms, like if you look at them, they're not actually a diamond. They're just shapes. See, they're not like they're not a. Uh, they're they're not symmetrical either. You can see they're just like some kind of shapes. So these are called table confettis. You can uh, confettis. You can find them at, at Amazon. You won't have a problem. I'll also put the link down below if you want these. I think these were like five thousand pieces. So because um, the piece here is sixty by one twenty uh, centimeters, so it's pretty huge. Um, I have about uh, uh, 1.89 liters of epoxy and I am thinking that I might be using the whole thing. What I'm doing here is uh, I've set up a basin for my epoxy so that I can get it to move a little bit because when epoxy is a little warm, that's that's the best temperature. That's when it uh, pours easily and stuff. So how to use epoxy? You take part A with part B, you mix it together in a cup and um, you have to shake it for about three minutes. So that part is really boring, but I will be doing that off camera. I'll be putting my gloves on and getting straight to business. I'll see you guys 
soon and I'll keep you noted off um, my up, uh, as I update and progress this piece because I do not have a camera and I will not be recording it but I will be giving you updates of what I've done what I've used where and let's see how this goes uh, keeping fingers crossed see you soon I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this um, and see how it actually looks on the foil just so that I can see how happy I am with the color what I've done here is taken the diamonds and put them at the edge with the, the indigo color ink that I have and so this is how I do it. And then with just a plastic spoon, I'm going to take it and go around the edges like that. Make sure the edges are really uniform and make sure you don't run out. <laughs> I just finished pouring the turquoise color and what I thought about doing towards the edges was use this broken glass and what I'm doing is just putting the broken glass here and just pushing it with my hand towards the edges. This will help me give, give it a nice barrier. So that all my resin doesn't start leaking outside. Now I have poured the rest of my resin and I had about this whole container full. A point I want to mention before I forget is, <laughs> sorry guys I can't talk I have this respirator on my face. So. You see how I have this heater here? Because you have to keep the room ventilated. So I do have a lot of fresh air coming in from here. And then I have the heat here. Now the heat will ensure that the resin stays warm and you will get enough time to work with it. Now I'm going to go and pour some more resin. And after that, I will mix the India in, in the color blue. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. And I'm sorry, I couldn't record anything. I'll tell you why. <coughs> because my, um, my resin was actually getting really hard. And I got really worried. So, all that and that is actually dry. You see that? Like... Oh, sorry, it's tacky, but it's actually dry. So I'm going to work on the other half later on. But what I did for now was, let me give you an update. I used a little bit of the white. Um, hold on. Ow! Sorry, it's just my, the chandelier here, sure, there's a reflection. And I know it's so annoying. But what I did was, I... I got this white cast and craft, so I just put like a little bit, right? <sighs> Guys, I'm going to take this mask off so that I can talk to you. Okay, the best advice I could give you is ugh, to have your heat gun on, on low. When you get it on low, you let this heat up. Okay, after you let it heat up, it gets warm, and then you put it on high, and then you get the white to move. I hope that makes sense. So it's very important.
that actually looks like a flower. Anyways, I'm gonna put my mask on because it smells really funky in here, but I gotta blow my nose before I do that. So guys, I'm almost done, almost done. Just maybe one more minute and um, um, I really like it so far. So um, I ended up putting some white um, resin in the center as well. And then you can see how it makes. Yeah. So I just finished doing this and um, I was just wondering what do you think? It's all bling bling. And um uh oh shit. Mm. What should I do? Wait, I might want to take that. I just finished my masterpiece. It's uh, 60 by by 120. Uh, what do you think? Waku? I'm wearing a mask on my, I'm wearing a respirator. So uh, it's very, what do you think? 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 Ah, oh, I just finished, man. So guys, I'm finished, um, and 
Um, I love it. What do you guys think? What I did towards the end was I used my knife and I started um, taking these while it was wet. I started like taking making these lines so that and then I made the same lines here and it was a uh, it was a bit uh, it wasn't that hard. It was easy, but it just um, it can only be done when it's before it's cured. So I did that and I thought um, that would give it like a, a feel of a geode. Do you know what I mean? Like a realistic feel of a geode. So I don't know if you noticed that I did that. But uh, yeah, I don't like that. Okay, so anyways, like this one looks really natural, right? Like that looks nice. So I might just change that because... Um, as I go on, I realized that I, bit of, I put a little bit of too much white there because I was making the video and um, it's very hard to hold the camera in the left hand and I don't have a tripod and I'm just not a tripod person. Like I rather like zoom in and like show you what I'm doing. I know it's bad. I need to like get like a nice tripod at some point. But for now, you can see that I put the glass pieces here. So these diamonds that came, um, actually, uh, they were different sizes. You see how big these are? These are large. They were small, medium, um, and large. So, um, yeah, if this is actually blue, uh, if I come here, um, uh, this light here, sorry, you're seeing the reflection and it's so annoying. And also like there were some cobwebs here, like not, not too many, but you know, when you're working with resin, like things will fall. If you have a pet, like, doesn't matter what your pet, it, pet is, but you will end up with hair. So a good strategy is to, like, put a book underneath. This is what I did because, you know, it will pour and you will see the drops. Do you see those drops? Like, yeah. And I've installed the French cleat. You can see that too. So anyways, I didn't put any, um, it's fine. Like, I'll just, to, uh, swipe it with a knife or something. I don't care about that, but I did want the epoxy resin to pour and um, I did that's exactly what I wanted because that kind of looks really cool when it's pouring down, right? Um, the other thing I wanted to say was yeah, be mindful of anything that falls like make sure you you sit down here and then you know you look at your work and you see if there's any dents Sometimes I have a book underneath, but um, um, I I think I I'm it's pretty balanced. I don't think it's like uh, unbalanced the piece, but um, for sure keep uh, keep an eye on it while it's curing because you don't want any cobwebs or any bubbles or anything. The beautiful thing, thing about a heat gun is that it saps all the bubbles. I've never been so happy with a heat gun. Honestly, I've used heat gun with like other stuff. Like you see this, like you see there's something here, right? Yeah, I got it. So <laughs> you gotta be careful. Like there's stuff flying in the air. The window's open because you want proper ventilation at the same time. But what really helped uh, was the heat this this thing here if you want it to dry fast make sure you have a heater like this and you put it on top here um, and make sure it's directly facing the artwork and this will work wonders see even from here like you can see if you have any hair any cobwebs you know like they're so tiny so overall, I'm very happy with the finish. I'm really happy with the crushed glass. I think that was the star of the show because that will actually shine, like the crushed glass. Um, it actually shines, you know, because the acrylic diamonds are just, you know, they're just blah. See, the acrylic goes on top of it and it doesn't do anything. It's just like acting as a barrier. That's about, that's about it. But uh, I really, really like how the acrylic diamonds look but at the same time that's also not it's not too bling bling and also the 
crushed glass. Yeah, the crushed glass. Uh, uh, you can get it from Ikea, I think. Um, I got mine from Michael's. Michael's is an art store in Canada. So I got mine from Michael's. I'm in uh, Canada. I'm in Ontario. But um, you can get them. You see how this piece is so big. Some pieces are big and some pieces are really small. So they're all different, different, different. Um, see, I like how shiny it is. I really like it. And uh, the pigment I used was okay. I'm not like too happy with it. Because if I went over with it twice, this was happening. You see that? Like, okay, this is lacing. I get it. It looks pretty. But I don't know what that is. And that does not look very pretty to me. Is that lacing? Okay, anyways, maybe it's still going to take its time. But it kind of look weird. But anyways, guys, be, be safe. Make sure you wear a mask. This is the mask I used. Uh, 3M Performance Respirator. And I, uh, this is exactly what it is. I did a lot, a lot of research. If you don't wear it, you can die. You can have uh, lung issues and it's very serious. Also, if this touches your hands, like, um, it, like, because I took my gloves off, right? Like how many times can you use the same gloves? But I used vinegar to, if it accidentally touches your skin, just use vinegar to get it off. So I don't know. I'm going to sign out now because it's like 4 a.m. and I need to go to sleep. Um, thank you so much for watching and please support my channel. And I'll make sure I'll upload more nice videos. Uh, take care and see you guys soon. Bye. I just wanted to record um, how it looked, how my piece looked in the morning because I woke up and it was daylight and I thought I'd record some daylight view of it. This was the best portion that I liked.